Let me introduce you to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The capital is Manama and its population is around about 700,000 people. The religion is Islam. There are Muslim background believers and one small fellowship. Bahrain is situated in the Persian Gulf between Iran and Saudi Arabia. It is made up of over 35 islands, the major ones connected by causeways. Iranian rule of what is now modern Bahrain lasted for 180 years until they were expelled by the Khalifa family who took control in 1782. Bahrain was a British protectorate for more than 100 years before regaining its independence 1971, formerly a peeling and trading centre for the Arabian Gulf with the tradition of independence. It is diversifying from oil into banking, aluminium production and tourism. Bahrain was the site of the first Arab Gulf oil well. Ironically, it will be the first Gulf country to run out of oil. Bahrain, compared to its neighboring countries, is poorer with significant unemployment. Bahrain became a kingdom in 2002. King Hamad is overseeing a gradual transformation with a new government modeled on the United Kingdom two-house parliament system. Bahrain is a oasis of freedom compared to the surrounding countries which have restrictive laws. Great number of Saudis and Kuwaitis flock to Bahrain every weekend because of greater personal freedom, while open evangelism is not allowed. Christian expatriates have found opportunities to worship and minister in Bahrain. Let me give you some prayer points. First, let's pray for the people in Bahrain. Second, let's pray for the government and the king and his family. Third, the word of God to reach the people via media as radio, television and internet. Fourth, the small Arab churches, also with local believers, about unity and cooperation. Fifth, also please let's pray for guest workers from India and the Philippines, people from the West, Africans and their churches, and the purpose to be revealed to them why the Lord has sent them to Bahrain. To my beloved fellow countrymen, how are you? I would like to greet you with, all, with joy in my heart. I know that we sing with, with me, your labor and courageous. In spite of our difficulties, circumstances, we'll never give up and we'll never lose our hope. Bye. Mga mga kababayan, kumusta na po kayo? Binabati ko po kayo na may kalak, kagalakan sa aking puso. Alam kong tulad ko rin kayo na matatalino at matatapang. Na sa kabila ng kagipitan at pagtitiis ni tayo sa musuko at hindi nawa ng pag-asa. Bahay ingat. And at the last point, let's pray for a change in the country concerning poorness and unemployment. And above all, let's give thanks to God for His precious help.